So I came out here today to help prop up this guy who I'm air layering. He was kind of drooping down almost all the way to the ground at this end. So I put the stake in, got a little wire to hold him up. And I figured I'd take the opportunity to uh, talk about propagation through air layering with y'all. So there's multiple techniques for propagation of a plant. Um, there's obviously seed propagation, there's cuttings, there are root suckers. And then what I'm doing here is called air layering. Um, so in air layering, what you're doing is you have the xylem inside the inner part of the stem, which is bringing nutrients from your roots, nutrients and minerals from your roots to the rest of the plant, like the leaves and all this new growth. Then you have your cambium, which is in, in between that and the bark and in between the cambium and the bark, you have your phloem. The phloem is bringing sugars and other nutrients, root growth nutrients from your leaves down to the stem network. So what we've done here with air layering is we've cut off the bark and just barely into the cambium, peeled that off, exposing the inner part of the stem. And that stops your phloem from pulling nutrients all the way from the leaves, all the way down to the established root system. Then we add some root growth hormone around that, which is essentially talc, talcum powder and uh, we wrap that with safcom moss and secure that in this kind of paper bundle and over time roots will start to develop out of that as they get stopped from going all the way down to the established roots they stop here where the cambium has been cut and it starts shooting out roots into the safcom moss so the hope is that come fall i'll be able to cut off just down here and we'll have a root system established in here that i can then transplant into the ground and establish a complete clone of this plant. So the reason I selected this plant as my first attempt at air layering is it's got this long main stem that stretched out a long way. So I figured it's got good healthy growth on both sides. I can cut off a few branches, peel off that bark exposing the cambium and wrap it there to get some solid roots for about a four inch area. I do have a lot of root suckers coming up from a lot of my plants. It's one of the main ways Yopon uh, self propagates itself. So I'll actually later in the year around fall be trying to dig up those, uh, cut them off from its main host plant and clone them that way as well. And I'll make a video about that too. Um, hopefully we'll be successful. Um, yeah, if you want to learn more about Yopon, America's native tea, um, just Follow me and I'll keep posting videos like this.